I don't have all the answers, but I know for sure, like, what has helped my family and I to merge more to the simpler living or to lessen down or to declutter our lives is last, this year, well, coming into this year, we received our new bill for the homeowner, home insurance. And when we got the house, we were un having the understanding that when you pay your mortgage, it's especially reverse, right back to first time home buyers. So we were kind of wet behind the ears, new to this and stuff like that. We had a house before, but whatever, get to the point. We got our home and we bought we bite off enough to where we thought we could be able to chew and it'll be able to last and we'll be able to sustain. And when you're thinking you're paying this amount every year, come to find out that every year homeowners insurance go up, whether because they have natural disasters in other places. Now we have to pick up the slack, whether we've been having claims and that and all these different things. So to me, that came off as a scam. Owning a home altogether to me is a scam. Owning property and all these things that they say, oh, it never depreciates and all that stuff. Why are we storing up all these things here on earth? Because that is my favorite message in the Bible. One of my favorite is like where the Lord say, do not store up treasures here on earth where moth and rust destroy, but store up treasures in heaven. So where you can have eternal life and everything is just going to be amazing. And that's the life, that's the promise that I hold on to because I am seeing it now. Like, as you grow, you get wiser. I would hope you do. And you have the understanding that a lot of these things that we strive for, a lot of the things that the world has been telling us to consume or we need, we do not need. The things that we enjoy are like moments and experiences and having wonderful family members that we could go and gather with and at these social events and things like that. So I've been really watching myself and how I feel in these situations, how I feel in these environments and understanding that the things that I thought would bring me so much happiness, like the house, the car, the materialistic things and all these stuff that we try to get the biggest TV and new clothes every year because we think we need a new wardrobe and all these different stuff. None of these stuff matter because every time you consume, it gives you a little burst of high and then it's short-lived and you're back wanting something else. So you're working constantly to consume, to therefore go back and work now because you stuck because you have to pay for all these things that you went and acquired. Even like multiple degrees and all these different stuff that we strive for. Now we have school, school loans, student loans, and all these different things that we cannot get out of because now we're trapped and bind by that. So now, therefore, we have to constantly be working and then live off of the promise that when we retire, we'll be able to, we're striving for retirement. So therefore, we could be able to live off of our pension and just enjoy life when our bodies all broke down and our brains all tired from overworking and all these different stuff. So get back to the point. So that's what kind of helped us wake up, helped me for sure, being the leader of the household, to wake up and be like, you know what? We don't need all these stuff. What if the idea started, we sold a lot of our things, all these stuff that we really doesn't don't bring us joy, like having this extra living room with, um, or all these bedrooms and furniture that we don't sit on because we're waiting for like people to come visit and this going to be such entertaining spot and our house is so polished up and wall art and all these different things. They don't matter. They don't bring you joy. Like you don't go around it or you don't walk into that space and just be like, ah, joy is everywhere. No, those things do not bring you joy. It's the joy of the Lord and the understanding of worshiping him that he has been opening our heart to love more, to help more, to heal. And now I'm starting to understand the true purpose of these videos that I create because it's not about me. This platform was built strictly on sharing for the Lord and Lord, what do you want me to share today? And that's what I go out and do. I'm not sticking to no niche. I'm not trying to think, but mostly this, this, this platform is about peace, love, joy, uplifting, inspiring others. And if you're not about that, I understand, 
there's tons of people with the same viewpoints like you. But I just wanted to say, like, that's what helped us to bring it down, tune it down a bit and be like, we don't need all this stuff. This stuff don't bring us happy. Being around my grandma, who is still here, God, I'm so blessed. Or being around my parents, being around my kids, being around cousins, family, friends, true friends, and just enjoying them at the gatherings and laughing and playing games and indulging in great food and all these great things are what bring joy. It's not being busy and pulled away from your family every day to work a nine to five, stuck in traffic, all these different things. If that's cool for you and you enjoy that, go for it. I'm not telling you to stop, but I'm telling you what helped me, my opinion, my view is when our home insurance went up and they expect you to pay it like it's nothing like, oh, yeah, is that an extra thousand dollars? Go ahead and break it down into your monthly mortgage every day, every year, every month. And just, yeah, just continue like it's normal. Like, it's a good thing we weren't living above our means because we could have been become homeless. We could have become some like on the streets or something, having to sell it all or not, and with no choice. But thank goodness the Lord has opened our eyes to see that when you think you are secure, you're not because things are always changing in this world. So you could go and buy the biggest house have multiple vehicles and toys and shoes, clothes, jewelry, and think, oh, I have it all. I'm good. I'm content. But all it takes is one circumstance. And next thing you know, you're on the streets. Next thing you know, you no longer have a decision or a say in anything. And now you got to try to figure, you're stuck trying to pick up the pieces and figure it out. So I never wanted that for my family. I never wanted that for myself. And with this, the Lord is always showing you and opening your eyes. And that opened my eyes to seeing like, I don't need to live this big, lavish life. I don't need the massive house on the block. I don't need all these stuff to show off for people that don't care nothing about me. Maybe don't wish me the best. They probably say that in my face and they don't. But I just want a simpler, simpler life. Enjoy my family that the Lord has blessed me with. Enjoy the life and the mindset and everything and just inspire others and uplift others from this beautiful island where the trees and the air is so fresh, less pollution, people are loving and caring and we say hello and we greet each other. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. And it just feels so much better. Like from the time I step outside, I feel so at peace. I talk to the Lord each and every day. I do my word. And I'm just so grateful for him opening my eyes sooner than later. And knowing like, hey, we do have a chance. We do have a say. But you have to keep it simple because that is the only way. That is like really, truly the only way to hear from the Lord, speak to the Lord. It is not being busy or burning out yourself. And I don't want that for myself, nor my family, nor my kids. I want them to be able to be kids, be in a safe or somewhat safe environment and just enjoy being kids grow up. I don't have to worry about them being snatched up every minute or, you know, all these different things. Like they could go outside and I know everything is going to be OK. You know, of course, the Lord's will is working out in our lives. And I just pray for people to wake up, understand that, man, there's so much greater out there. And you could be, it's like the closest thing to freedom. And I love it. And I just wanted to share that on today. And I pray that someone's blessed by this message. I don't want to continue to ramble on because it's unmade to nine minutes and I didn't expect it to go that long. But I just want you to know, like, I share bits and pieces of my story and hopefully it can inspire. It can help someone wake up. It can help someone to see the bigger picture it could be healing. It could be whatever. It could be a blessing. And I pray that everything works out for you and your family. If you've seen this on your timeline, I pray that <sighs> you turn towards the Lord because that is the only way. That is a true way. That is the way to find peace. That is the way to find joy. That is the way to have all these things that you're searching for in this world through the Lord, 
building that relationship with him has transformed my life. So therefore, I share it so it could transform your life as well. And we could, more people could wake up and say, you know, enough is enough. I want to serve the Lord. I want to bring, bring glory to his name. But with that being said, thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the love. This is not about me, but about the Lord above. And I know everything is going to work out for you. Healing is coming your way. More people will be saved by watching these videos. More people will be uplifted and inspired to go out and do the same. More people will be able to have the discernment, the wisdom, the understanding, and to continue to push forward and not let the world take advantage of you. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Until next time, it was supposed to be short and sweet, but you know, once the Holy Spirit is activated in me, I just want to talk for hours and hours and share as much gems and knowledge as possible. But I pray that something in this video you could be blessed by, something in this video helped you out. Take care of yourself. Let me go back to my family and get breakfast started. Peace.